Can you please say something about time and the eternal moment? Time is eternity refracted through thought. Again, please. When you, Again, please. When you, when you shine white light through a prism, it breaks up into a multiplicity and diversity of colors. Yes. When you shine eternity through the mind, it appears as time. I'm lost. What is your experience of time if you don't think about it? Oops. When I don't think about it. Yes. Or another way of asking the same question. What is your experience of time other than the thought of it? So let's put the thought about time on one side. For instance, I can think of catching my plane at 7.15 this evening. I can think about breakfast this morning. But remove those <coughs> thoughts and, and time comes into existence in my thought about my, my flight or about breakfast. But remove those thoughts and what remains of time? Just now. No, but now is not in time. Now is neither the past nor the future. So what remains, t time means the past and the future. Well, time is the transition from the past to the future, or we could say time is the duration between events. Mm -hmm. So let's say time is the duration between now and breakfast this morning. Yeah. But without reference to thought, what is your experience of that duration? None. That's it. Oh. That's it. <laughs> Apart from thought, there is no experience of time. Even with thought, there is no experience of time. There is just the concept of time, which thought superimposes on our experience and makes us feel as if time is actually experienced. It's not. Only the now is experienced. But the now is not a moment that is moving through time. Do you, do you have an experience that the present is moving through time? No. No. Uh, if you had said yes, I would have asked you, and how fast is it moving, for instance? <laughs> I mean, do we have a sensation of the now moving along, or fast, or slowly? And, and, and another question, how long does the now last? <laughs> Yeah, you're right. It, it's it just you laugh at the <laughs> yes. question because the question is so ridiculous. Because when you try to find the experience of time, it just cannot be found. It's a concept, and it's a valuable concept. We need the concept, but but it's when the concept becomes a belief yeah. that it becomes problematic. There's nothing wrong with the concept of time, but the belief that time is real is problematic. Yeah, I understand. And, and, and what about space? It's is the it same, same, but s space is consciousness uh, filtered through perception, whereas time is consciousness filtered through thought. It's more difficult yeah. with space. Time is what eternity looks like filtered through the mind. Space is what infinity looks like. Time is what eternity looks like filtered through thought, and space is what infinity looks like filtered through perception. Where does your experience take place? In what place? In no place. Okay, in no place. And what is the common name for the no place at which experience takes place? Just a it's not a trick question, just that the common name for this, no, you're right, you're right. Experience doesn't take place in a place because all places are made out of experience. Yeah. Yeah. But the common name for that is here. Ah, yeah. Yeah? yeah. What we call here, 
we mistakenly believe, when I say we, I mean thought mistakenly believes to be a point in space identical to the body. But actually, if we, f if we look carefully, and your answer was correct, at, at, at the nature of the here at which all experience takes place, it's not a place in space. Because space, all, all, all places are made out of experience. Therefore, experience can't take place in a place. Because our only knowledge of places is made of experience. So experience itself doesn't take place in a place. It takes place in dimensionless consciousness called here. That's what here means. The no place of infinite consciousness, just like now, doesn't mean a, a moment in time. It means eternity, out of time. The now is not in time. So the here is not a space. The, 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 the now is not a moment in time, and here is not a place in space. Yeah. The here and now are dimensionless consciousness, and don't try to think about that. No, no, no. It's not possible to think about something that has no dimensions. But, but it's, it's really mind-blowing to consider that our current experience, that means this experience, is taking place in and is made of something that has no dimensions, that is not in time and space. Thank you. Thank you. That, Thank that, you. That, that's what contemporary physicists call the non-locality of the universe. Yes. Thank you. And th these, these kind of concepts, they, they could seem to be so abstract and, and intellectual and conceptual, but they're not, because they are, within the limitations of language, they are descriptions of what we're actually experiencing. The, 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 the information that we receive through sense perception is it doesn't it doesn't convey the reality of experience it's made of the reality of experience but we have to look deeper than just the information received by sense perception in order to know reality. Just notice in your experience that whatever you have experienced in your life, it has always been now and here. Yeah. So now cannot be a particular moment in time and here cannot be a particular place in space because it's always whenever you are and wherever you are it's always here and now it's the only experience you know you n we never know the there and the then